Hi all, I wanted to go over four main use cases for Forta Casby and this video will walk through those four cases. They are risk management in uh, looking into the security posture, visibility of risks, trends and events, user insights and behaviors. Second is threat detection and response, um, de detecting you know threats and behavior anomalies that are alerted via policies that you configure. Third is data protection, security, and compliance. So scanning for sensitive and malicious files, prevent uh, data breaches, and then again using predefined compliance policies to report on those. Last is uh, shadow IT visibility or discovery. Integration with FortiGate and Forti Analyzer will provide insight into the sanctioned and unsanctioned applications. Now let's dive into the application. So here you can see the overview dashboard screen showing you the business unit name, the business unit ID, and a number of cloud applications that are in this uh, tenant. So here you can see all the applications that are supported from Office 365 to WebEx Teams. And then on the bottom is the alert overview and activity overview. And by default it shows you the last seven days. You can go, you know, all the way to last 90 days or customize the view if you want. But on the left hand side, you can see that there's a overview, dashboard, reports, and so forth in the overview section. And then each of the applications that are supported or that's been added into the tenant will show up here on the left side. So here in Salesforce, you can see if we expand that, you know, the dashboard for Salesforce, discovery, document, users, and and the rest of the other options and they are all the same for all the applications that are there for risks management let's dive into office 365 we can either go from this left side menu or just click on the office 365 tile we'll expand it to the last 90 days to see all the relevant data here with all the populated data you can see, you know, overall alerts, policy overview, what's been violated, and so forth. So for our first use case, right, which is uh, risk management, visibility into risk trends, and so forth. So right here, we can see the high-risk files that are being uploaded or downloaded, risky users, and then uh, risky activities as well. Let's take a look at one of the risky activities, right, like upload a file. So we'll click on that link and it takes you over to the alerts overview listing all the alert types. So right now we're looking at the data analysis stuff and we're just going to drill down into the first um, entry here. If we expand it, you can see more detail of again alert type, the alert ID, the object what the uh, activity type was. This was a upload file. You can see in the description this file contained birthday information that violated one of the DLP policies for example. And then um, who uploaded it and to see uh, suspicious activity right you can see that uh, in the activity link you can click on this summary and see where this activity took place from. So it's part of the risk management and then that's also part of the uh, threat protection as well, right? Showing you uh, risky information or suspicious location portion of it. Here you can see that again this user in the United States in San Jose via this IP address uploaded this file and it's been this has triggered nine alerts so far for this uh, person doing this. In order to remediate this issue, you can go into Office 365 and delete it or configure a block policy in FortiGate to block this user from uploading you know, sensitive data into his or her Office 365 account. Let's look at threat detection and response. For this, we'll use uh, Google 
or GCP storage. We'll expand that option in this left hand side. Look into documents and here you'll see a complete list of all the documents that's been detected whether it's malware or sensitive file as you can see from the top um, indication overview and then it lists all the application or the files that were detected right what type of files whether it was um, sensitive information or malware so we can look into the malware let's look into this one by expanding the by clicking on the icon to expand it so this detail profile for this document shows all the file information the file name path uh, the service and so so forth and then the violating pattern that was used to discover this file so it detected malware riskware and then on the activity side of it it shows you all of the majority of it was upload file but there was a delete file as well and you can you know load more information if you want let's look further into one of these activities for example this upload file right we can click on and show alert details and then expand this information and again you can see all the relevant data that's there especially where you can also see the activity link and seeing you know where this was uploaded from by clicking again on that activity link um, provided and here it's uh, you can see that the relevant data is displayed again for the region of the country or city IP address um, you can exclude or include specific regions so if you you know want to block out China you can or Russia uh, in the setup right now this is just a test account so it's allowing uh, upload location from anywhere malware detection is based on a policy configuration so in this policy there's default list of pre-configured you know DLP policies but there's also this um, ransomware equip file detection or AV scan which is what the previous uh, malware that we just looked at uh, the riskware it was based on an AV scan so in order you know if you want to look at that policy you can in the policy data analysis section and see more details of what this uh, policy consists of so in order to remediate this you can again go to your GCP storage and delete this file or if you have Fortis CWP deployed um, to monitor you know your uh, storage buckets you can utilize that to you know, uh, remediate that way as well to remove this uh, ransomware file or riskware file from the GCP account Next is data security and compliance. Go to this uh, Google Workspace uh, application and then click on users. So this will show you all the users having access, uh, having accounts in Google Workspace. And here's a list of the users that are there and what they've been doing from a sensitive file perspective sharing it and then uh, also uploading it as well so here you can see this user we can click into this little icon on the right hand side to drill further down into getting more information of um, activities as you can see on the right hand side it lists all the activities that this user has performed from uploading files creating files deleting files and then here are all the files that um, he or she have accessed right so we can drill down into a specific activity here so for example file deletion right we can click on this and show more details in this alert and you can see that again we get back to the alerts overview page you can see uh, threat protection compliance as well so there's, there's a, a sensitive file and a suspicious location um, as well again expanding on this you can see you know where the activity why the um, policy was violated due to sensitive files and again you can see clicking on the activity link 
where that took place in the world and seeing that again this is you know uh, this user United States Sunnyvale um, for this account so you can also create a custom policy for threat protection right again here is a default policies that are available here are the uh, policies from you know, the sensitive file policy uh, suspicious time suspicious location that we have looked at as well in the past and for sensitive data you know you can expand it and then uh, put in what kind of information or description and so forth you can do uh, context you know what type of uh, regex information you want to add so there's a lot of customization that can be done and you can even create custom uh, policy threat policies to, to to detect uh you know activities as well and again in order to you know remediate this you would go into your application for Google Workspace uh, as an example here and limit the this user to being able to upload or uh, create you know files that have sensitive content or again utilizing a block policy or a warn policy on the forty gate to um, warn this user that uh, he's violating you know certain company policies for sharing information last use case i wanted to show you is getting shadow it information so in forda casby there is an option to view shadow it which is on the left hand side under overview and you can see clicking on the dashboard if we look at uh, the past 90 days there are information on you know all the statistics of unsanctioned application clients sessions and so forth there there's high-risk apps top clients that are accessing that app and then what's you know what's happening via those apps whether it's a, a upload download and so forth and if they contain malware and such sensitive files you can see all the um, applications that are supported from the Caspi per, for the Caspi perspective you can also get a, a list of applications that has been accessed you know this is just a showing you um, shadow IT application list instead of a overview a dashboard view of everything that's available as stated you know this is integrated with FortiGate and Forta Analyzer and in Forta Analyzer once you set it up um, you can also get shadow IT there as well so here is a view of the last 10 weeks of all the applications that have been accessed and then you see the risk scores as well you can also see um, the top cloud users in this environment so right now as stated you know this is also a test account so from this uh, IP address uh, users who are seeing 374 sessions that's uh, taken place to remediate these you know shadow IT access and and so forth of applications that are not approved you again go to your FortiGate and create policies to block out you know non supported applications or non corporate applications that your users uh, will be accessing from the from this list thank you for watching